You are listening to KZT Cornerstone Online Live. My name is Newton Ha. As today's Bible, April 17th, 2022, this preached by Pastor June Park. I'll be reading the narration that will be autocast through Facebook and YouTube channels. Today's Easter Day message, He is not there. John chapter 20, verse 1 through 18. Early on Sunday morning, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb and found that the stone had been rolled away from the entrance. She ran and found Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one whom Jesus loved. She said, They have taken the Lord's body out of the tomb, and we don't know where they have put him. Peter and the other disciple started out for the tomb. They were both running, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. He stooped and looked in and saw the linen wrapping lying there, but he didn't go in. Then Simon Peter arrived and went inside. He also noticed the linen wrapping lying there, while the cloth that had covered Jesus' head was folded up and lying apart from the other wrappings. Then the disciple who had reached the tomb first also went in, and he saw and believed. For until then, they, had, they still hadn't understood the scriptures that said Jesus must rise from the dead. Then they went home. Mary was standing outside the tomb crying, and as she wept, she stooped and looked in. She saw two white-robed angels, one sitting at the head and the other at the foot of the place where the body of Jesus had been lying. Dear woman, why are you crying? The angels asked her. Because they have taken away my Lord, she replied. And I don't know where they have put him. She turned to leave and saw someone standing there. It was Jesus, but she didn't recognize him. Dear woman, why are you crying? Jesus asked her, who are you looking for? She thought he was the gardener, sir. She said, if you have taken him away, tell me where you have put him, and I will go and get him. Mary, Jesus said. She turned to him and cried out, Rabboni, which is Hebrew for teacher. Don't cling to me, Jesus said, for I haven't yet ascended to the Father, but go find my brothers and tell them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene found the disciples and told them, I have seen the Lord, when she gave him his message.
Hey, Open Network Pastors, I wanted to tell you um, a little behind the scenes uh, about a leadership podcast that's coming that may help you. I am guessing that some of you might be making a similar mistake that I've been making in my leadership, and that is this. As the world starts to open back up, in my mind, I thought, okay, now I kind of need to go back and lead like I was leading before, and I just let the intensity drop a little bit, and I started leading with kind of the pre-COVID strategy in what is becoming, hopefully, a more post-COVID world, and I realized that is just a massive, massive mistake. Here's what I just discovered, that leading in the middle of a crisis, it's, it's complicated, but it's also pretty clear what you do. You communicate frequently, you adjust quickly, you conserve cash. When you're in a crisis, you intuitively tend to know what to do. But this is the first time that we're leading out of a two-year world-altering global crisis. And so if our leadership plan now is similar to it was, the way it was before, it's probably not a good plan. And that's when I started to redefine my own leadership strategy. How do we lead out of a crisis? It's really a new thing for most of us as leaders. And so I'm talking about it in the new leadership podcast. And because what you do matters more than anything in the world, you're leading people to Christ, you're leading churches, um, and it is complicated all over the world. I wanted to give you a heads up that this podcast is coming, and I hope it helps you grow in your leadership because we know that everyone wins when the leader gets better.